Hi, I'm Tara. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I started this channel to help inspire you. So thank you so much for joining me. And if at any point during my video you do find some inspiration, I always appreciate it if you hit the like button. Today we're going to be hopping right into Cricut Design Space and we're going to be going over the warp feature. But I'm also going to try and show you how to do some of these different options without having to use Cricut Access or the work feature in Cricut Design Space. So let's just jump right in. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space. We're going to go ahead and click New Project. We're going to go into the Canvas, and we're going to type in text. So on the left-hand panel, you're just going to type in a click on text, and then I'm going to type in the word create. Ooh. And then I'm going to go to font and I'm going to change the font. I'm actually going to go use this little toolbar at the top and I'm going to click on chunky text. And I'm just going to scroll around looking for what I think. I think I would like to use Parkway is what I'm going to do today. We're going to click on that. Okay. So I'm going to then show you the work feature in Cricut Design Space. Then I'm going to show you how to do it without using the work feature. So this is going to show you how to skew text and also do the wavy text. Okay, so it's saying make it wow, cut with Cricut Access. Well, I already have Cricut Access, so I'm not sure why. I'm just going to click check it out. Okay, so I wonder if they're letting you guys check this out if you don't have Cricut Access membership. Comment below and let me know if you're able to use this right away. If they're letting people that do not have Cricut Access membership try this out. I'm not sure. Okay. Maybe they'll let you like try it in the design space. And then when you go to make it, they're going to say, oh, now you have to pay for it. <laughs> let me know in the comments. OK, so this is the work feature. So I'm going to go through and just click on all the different um, work features, which can also be considered like um, skewing text, especially this one and this one, you know, where you're really like adding different sizes to different areas. So like. This one, the center part, the letters are larger than the two end letters. And just all, here's the wavy text. I'm going to go back to that. I just want to show you all the different like ways you can skew the text. So basically, warp feature is basically showing you how you can skew text and warp text and all the things with the different dimensional text options. I'm just kind of clicking through. Okay, so I want to pick a skew text and show you what you can do with it. And then I'm also going to click on a wavy text and show you what you can do with it. So let's see, I'm going to click on this one. And I'm going to also, let's duplicate this a couple times. And I'm going to click back into warp. And I'm going to change one to a different option. I'm going to do the what I think it would be the wavy text, the classic wavy that everyone's like all the rave right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this one. Let's see, how do we go back to do, undo? Oh, it just says undo warp. Okay, so bring that one back to being normal. Okay. So what I want to show you is. If you use the warp features in Cricut Design Space, you can go ahead and click unlock where the size bar is and you can skew that text even further. You can stretch it. Now what you're doing is you're grabbing on to this bounding box. I, I will refer to it mostly in my videos as an editing box, but it is referred to by a lot of design applications as a bounding box. So you will just simply click on where that little white box is and stretch it. You can pull it down, roll your cursor or your mouse down while you're holding down um, to that white box. You can squeeze it in, you can pull it out, you can kind of move it around and just 
play with it to make it look however you, whatever look you're going for. Okay, same thing with the wavy. We can also hit the unlock on the size area and you can grab that bounding box, that white little box in the corner and just kind of scrunch it, stretch it, pull it whatever direction that you choose. You can kind of even make it um, by pulling towards you with the mouse or holding down um, and pulling towards you or pushing away, you're stretching it. It kind of looks like it's laying down as you pull it like towards you, um, squishing it in, all of the things. So you still can like edit that also by just simply clicking the unlock button. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to be able to do both of these without Cricut Access or using the Warp tool. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate my Create. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I am going to go to the Layers panel. I'm going to click Unlock or Ungroup. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to move these letters individually. So I'm going to try to recreate this look right here. Now, if you really want to like really, really create that, um, let me show you first this, this one option. Okay, so we're kind of just eyeballing it. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna hit undo. And okay. My eye is wanting to make this perfect, but this is just a tutorial. So let's just keep rocking and rolling. So you're going to select back over that. You're going to regroup them after you move them. And then to really skew the text, you can unlock and then again, grab that bounding box and stretch the image to make it look however you would like. Now, if you really want to make it look more like this, what you will have to do is let's go back to ungroup. Then you're going to have to go up to each individual letter and hit unlock and then grab the bounding box and stretch the letters. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to grab the next one, hit unlock. I'm going to grab that bounding box and I'm going to stretch that letter, kind of narrow it in and bring it nice and close trying to look at my example there but obviously you're going to be creating from your own imagination when you're doing this so i'm just kind of stretching it and bringing it in to skew the text and then bringing it close and keeping it keeping it on that angle i'm just continuing to do this grabbing out of the corner of that bounding box pulling it in and pulling it up and then bringing it nice and close and I'm going to continue to do that. I am not doing this perfectly by any means, <laughs> but I'm just trying to do to do my best to show you for tutorial purposes. And then go ahead, last letter. We're going to grab that bounding box, stretch it up, stretch it in. Oops. And then, oh, if it ever gets crazy or wonky, on you just hit undo. That's happened to me a couple of times and just hit undo until you get that bounding box back to where you want it to be. Okay. So we're gonna hit unlock so I can stretch this and kind of pull it in and slide it up nice. Okay. And then we're gonna select over it. Obviously it's not, excuse me, it's not perfectly like the example but it's close okay and then we're going to hit group then we're going to hit unlock again and then we're going to stretch and pull and and play around with this and if i really would have taken my time i could have really made it look a lot closer to this but you get the idea that is how you would be able to do skew currently without using the warp feature in Cricut Design Space. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the wavy text. 
without using Cricut Design or without using the warp feature, but staying within Cricut Design Space and not having to use another program. Okay, so we're gonna take, actually, I'm gonna retype this. So I'm gonna type C-R-E, and then I'm going to click another text box and I'm gonna type A-T-E. And I'm gonna actually hover over both of these and stretch it, make it a little bit bigger so you can see it a little bit better. Oops, just trying to move these out of my way. Okay, I'm gonna actually make this a color so it really stands out and make that pink. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're gonna click on curve up at the top middle toolbar and we are going to, yeah, we'll pull it this way. Yeah, let's go, let's pull it this way for this part. You can do whichever you like, but this is just what I'm doing for this example. And then I'm gonna go over to letter spacing and I'm gonna hit the arrow down to bring them a little bit closer together. Just kind of eyeballing it. Okay, then I'm gonna select over the ATE part. Again, we're gonna click on the curve and now we're gonna hit the diameter curve the opposite direction. And then again, I'm gonna hit letter spacing down, arrow down to bring them closer together. I'm just eyeballing it until it's where I feel like I'm happy with. And then I'm just gonna slide this down right about here, about there. Okay, and then I'm gonna select over this. I'm gonna hit group. And then it may not be exactly how you want it. So go ahead and uh, pull that arrow back. So we've got the little corner here in the bounding box, that little white square. Just kind of pull your cursor back and then it'll turn into those two little arrows. That is your rotate. So I'm gonna rotate it so that it looks more like I'm gonna want it to look on a shirt or design. Now I'm going to go ahead and let me just move, get this one up out of my way. Okay, now I'm gonna duplicate this two times and I'm gonna change the colors and how you change the color, you're just gonna click on this. We are going to the operations where that little pink is, I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna choose a different color. So I'm gonna pick purple and actually I'm gonna pick a different shade. So I'm gonna hit advanced and I'm gonna click down. Oh, what do I like? I'm gonna go with that one. Okay. And then I'm gonna click the next one and I'm gonna click on, I wanna do like a mint color. And again, I'm just gonna click around on here. There we go. Until I get a shade that I like. Now, obviously if you're doing heat transfer vinyl, also known as iron-on, you're going to have them cut separately and you'll just have to readjust. They're not gonna cut out all these different colors together perfectly you'll have to cut them separately. But just for our eye's sake to see what the design looks like, and then you can go ahead and group that together. And that's your design. Also, we can go down to the right bottom screen in the toolbar where it says flatten and click on flatten and we can turn that into a print and cut image. So that is how you can create wavy text without using the warp feature in Cricut Design Space, but also staying in Cricut Design Space and not having to go into a different program. Thank you so much.